So on the morning of 29th, uh, Patrick's mom was away on a business trip to Eldoret. So Patrick called the mom. Uh, they normally talk on a daily basis if she's away before he goes to school. So uh, he called the mom and he asked her to request the teacher for him not to attend the cross-country event. So she did the same. She just told him, uh, hold on, let me call the teacher and get back to you. So she called the teacher, informed her that Patrick was not to attend the cross-country event. And the teacher agreed. Then she got back to Patrick and told him, Baba, I've talked to the teacher and you're not going to attend the cross-country event. And he was very happy, he was excited as usual, a very jovial young man, and he went to school. But about uh, an hour, an hour and a half later, the school called um, Patrick's mom and told her that uh, Patrick had participated in the cross-country event, but uh, he had... Uh, he became unconscious uh, along the way, so they asked. Uh, so she asked them, "What are you doing to him?" And they said they were administering first aid. So she requested them to just loosen his clothes and uh, remove his watches and his shoes and his sweater. Uh, after some time, they called and they said he was not responding. So which hospital can we take him to? So the first response she wanted them to take uh, him to a vineyard hospital thicker but then on second thought she just told them take him uh, next to avenue hospital thicker she asked whether she could send an ambulance to school but they declined and said they were going to carry him in the school van of which they did and on arrival at the hospital uh, patrick was already gone uh, he was foaming in the mouth he was bleeding uh, and he had already soiled himself. Uh, so, uh, as the norm, you know, standard protocol in any hospital before you call it in, uh, you have to administer, you know, some resuscitation of which they tried, but he was pronounced dead on arrival. The school is trying to cover up their tracks a lot. And in the process, they are not being empathetic, and they are causing more, you know, pain to the family uh, for the sake of covering themselves. And I feel that we need to call out the right authorities because no parent should lose their child the way Mama Patrick did. Uh, the school is the safe place where we entrust our children to the teachers. And if you're not sure whether your child will go in a school bag and come back, in a body bag, it really doesn't put us in a good place. So we're calling upon the government and we are asking that we can get justice for Patty. He was a young man and very promising, but his life was cut short and we would want to know the truth. We would not, we'd want to know exactly what happened to Patty. So I'm calling on all of us, let's stand up and hashtag justice for Patrick Bahati.